So today I'm fishing up at Dun Mill on the Kentnaven Canal. It's run by Hungerford Angling uh, Association. You can get a day ticket for it. Also, you can obviously also join as well. Um, so with it being springtime, and unfortunately the roach just don't seem to feed this time of year because they're spawning, got other things on their mind. What we're targeting today is perch. Perch are normally one of the first fish to spawn. Uh, therefore now hopefully they finish spawning and we're going to be able to catch a few of them. Um, might catch some skimmers if we're lucky. So my main attack literally is just going to be worms. Um, so I haven't got no lob worms just because availability with everything that's going on with the planet at the moment, coronavirus, Brexit, etc. So all I've got is dens as in dendrobinas. Now that's not the end of the world, far from it. Now what I suggest you do is wash your worms off in the landing net and then literally so it just washes all the soil off and then it makes it very easy for cutting. So all I do is I cut them so they're like absolute like almost like liquid so and then I just put a few casts and a few red, uh, few red maggots in. So nothing, nothing special, just mix it round. And also when I cup it in you want to cup it in from a little bit of a height as in don't wash your pole pot out because if you do that you're going to spread your bait much further out like it's not going to be so concentrate so when i when i put it in i'm just going to put it in like what's that maybe four inches so it goes in a bit more of a ball and then all i'm going to do then is then could just gently wash wash a pot out. So all I do is just literally just wash the worms out. So there's no soil, no dirt. And then literally just put them in the pot. We're only pleasure fishing. And even if I was fishing a match, I'd still do this to be honest with you. I'd sooner like cut my worms up as I'm gonna need as I need them rather than have a pint of worms say all cut up and then just leave it on the bait tra tray for two, three hours. So as soon as you know the fresher the better. So my rig, my rig is a almost a lot of use for pellet fishing really. It's a 0.2 gram um, diamond float with a nice thick hollow bristle. Now I'm not a fan of using dibbers for perch. Um, reason being is I like to see like every little dink, any sort of little tiny knock and obviously I'm going to be dragging it around and maybe might catch some skimmers on the, on the same, same rig. So I feel if I fish a dibber, in my opinion, I feel that you might not see necessarily that little indication. Sometimes you get that little knock when you're dragging your worm around is really important because then you know there's one there. So I might, you know, get that little knock and might then therefore not feed again. And also like persevere on that line. So just trying to entice that fish into taking it. So it's just a nice wire stem, like I say, a nice thick uh, hollow uh, plastic bristle. And then I've just got literally, what's that, four number, uh, 10 shot yeah four number no five number 10 shot can't even count five number 10 shot just spread six inches e equally apart the water's ever so clear uh, so that's to 014 main line and then I've got an 010 bottom to a size 16 N600 so that's a comic N600 hook I've used various patterns of uh, hooks for years and uh, I'm not a big fan of comic but I must admit that N600 hook is, in my opinion, a brilliant hook. The point's just very, very sharp, just doesn't blunt, and they, they just they just go in. Um, so, because perch obviously got real bony mouths, so the last thing you want to do is look at a decent sized perch, and it unfortunately just pulls out. So having said that, make sure when you do get a bite, let it develop, and also you want to not strike ridiculously hard but you do do want to strike to make sure you penetrate the uh the hook into the fish's mouth because they are big and bony uh, when i hook the worm as well i like to thread it up and then just push it through the side so push the worm up through the shank so just so you're showing the point and then just nip the worm off at the end like so so i'll show that in a sec um, plastic wise is just a 1.5 hollow 
uh, set reasonably springy. So again, like when you get that bite, you want to want to strike reasonably hard to set that hook. So no room for real, real light elastics. Otherwise, unfortunately, you're not not going to penetrate the uh, like I say, the fish's mouth.